Healing crystals, skincare routines, knitting a sweater, fitting in jeans. With Katie and Sarah, no need to worry, you're on a lady journey. Have you ever seen women um, style their hair around their hat? Like a, like a baseball cap and then... And then yeah. they've got it, yeah, like waves. Feathered yeah. around it, yeah. yeah. There's a lady at the barbecue place where I grew up and I'd be like... Why even wear a hat if it's being <laughs> I if get you're it. lightly yeah. placing it on with yeah. bobby pins? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Maybe just to cover the grays. Maybe that's what oh my gosh. your girl does. It, is it? I wear a lot oh of hats gosh. when I haven't dyed my hair. Uh, I, I am love starting hats. to get grays, and I'm hats. excited. I think I'm just gonna let it come in. I, I want to be like all that. Or nothing though. The, I, I want be silver fox or me too. I want to have a full gray. I think it would be you? so fun. You'd like, be actually really. I can see you with a little gray bob. Art class in the community. I know. I know. I didn't. The only reason why I still like to dye my hair is because somebody I guess Cindy Crawford has this quote about like dyeing our hair is kind of like the only thing we can control mm. oh, as you know yeah, when we gotcha. start aging yeah. and I went got yeah. it I took because my mom was like I'm letting my gray hair grow out and she was like full had like a, just a little crown of gray and I told her that and now she's like and I'll never stop dyeing my hair I was like I, it's just the one thing she's yeah. like that makes sense so yeah. I I because I, I honestly when I see my hair with the grays I'm always like I'm always like that lady like she shouldn't have a baby <laughs> And then I, and I, I dye my hair it. and I'm, look at that spring chicken. Yes. It makes me feel I'll, better. It makes I can't, me feel better. I can't let it go because I see mine are coming through and yeah. that's why I'm having a hair conundrum You're having a hair lately. crisis. Yeah, yeah, I'm having a hair crisis. And the losing it. Yeah. I'm, mm. I oh, can't you, wear a ponytail. You, I've got like you're, receding hair right now. You're five months postpartum, right? Yeah. Okay, about. yeah. Between, I remember my between my third and fourth month, it was like, it literally looked like I was at my sister's house and she's like, I have never seen so much hair ever. Like I had to it's vacuum bad. it twice a day. Yeah, and it, it was coming out. Too. So, yeah, they pull it. They, wow. they, they don't care about and, us. In the areas that are <laughs> the most care. sensitive. Yeah. 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 There's all these like TikToks where they're like, it's like moms all going out postpartum and they all like pull their hair back and they've just got like a little tiny, like all kinds of weird. <laughs> Baby hair is just beast. sticking all the fuck That's up. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You're just being tortured in your yeah. own home. Postpartum shit is like weird. Well, oh, I because love it. you're. Um, we're started. Yes. Oh, okay. Welcome I to Lady Journey. Journey. We have started. Well, welcome to Lady welcome Journey, to Lady everybody. Journey. We here. have an amazing guest, <laughs> we Casey like Balsham. We get it, but we yes. got into it fast. We, we in, got into it. We yeah. didn't want you to say something that you'd regret. <laughs> But no, Never. we're so excited to have you on, Casey, because, well, you're a mom. I'm a mom. You're, you're mom. a mom. I'm and a mom. You just did a month travel in Europe with a kid. I and did. Tell us everything. I'm dying it's to hear. It's all trial and error. And so it I is. use you as my, your, whatever they call it, going first into please, the, the Please, please do. Mind. You're and, a role model. You're the canary. Yeah, you, yeah, you told the canary. me the canary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and honestly, literally ask me anything whenever. This was actually, okay, it's because we've traveled. I mean, we were we were, we were like, this is Goldie's like thirtieth flight. Like she's she's traveled. And by I think it's great. It's you've got great. to start because yeah. I think if you get so complacent, you, you get more scared, scared. And scared. Yeah. But also, yeah. like when they're like w like like your son's age, like that's kind of before they're moving around. That is optimal travel yeah. time okay. because now she you don't is have to like buy a seat yet. She you don't have to buy a seat. Well, still don't have to buy a seat yet. But she is like wants to play like she is moving yeah. she is grabbing glasses from people she is waving to people <laughs> she wants it. to crawl like but it's also fun age because she really gives people what they want like she'll smile she do, so like this the the flight attendants will take her and walk her up and down and i just like sit and watch below deck oh, and, yeah. and, and but she yeah. but at this age it's like a great age to travel once you get to the place because you don't have to do so goldie's 11 months my daughter's 11 months uh and i don't even know how the fuck that happened right she's <laughs> it feels uh, like a full woman like i look at her i'm like how are you 37 like oh she's so she looks so old to me she's got so much damn hair but we didn't have to like at this age when they're almost one they kind of uh you don't have to do kid things yet so we were able to travel but we didn't have to go to parks and museums yeah we can they kind like, of just yeah they just like they're just looking. stimulated they're yeah. stimulated by being with you by looking mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. and again because she's so like friendly literally we were handing her off to servers and bartenders like everybody oh, wanted to touch her she's a good yeah. baby she's, she's a good such baby. a good she's tempered no baby. stranger danger which yeah. is kind of <laughs> terrifying but we were literally like well, it's we always were, the person they know yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's always coming just from inside that the in. house, yeah. Robbie. Oh, I just watch my husband. Um, but it was really so. Besides, kind of her being like wild on, like she doesn't cry, but she's definitely like, bah! like she wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wants to move. She wants to talk. She wants to play. Mm -hmm. um, but when we get to the place, she's like, great. But we, me and Robbie were joking. We're like, man, we've been in so many hotels with her. I think she thinks playing is like hanging out on a bed with her parents. Yeah, because oh, you know we're in hotels, right, and so yeah. we're just like, there's not always. 
like a ton of space. Yeah. But she's very like well, tummy she, time. Get she, it. Little tummy time. She well, she's crawling now. She yeah. can get herself oh off the gosh. bed. That's she great. like cruises. So she holds on to things. She and had walks. things her go to likes. Like, um, mom, could you play that song? She really likes uh she's got a couple books that really get her that really get her going. Oh There's my this gosh, book I called Dog's First Baby. Oh. And it's really oh, good yes. and it's about a dog. It's from the dog's perspective, which you don't see a lot of, which I love. <laughs> it's innovative. It's <laughs> really <laughs> it's it's brilliant. And so and we don't have a dog, so I don't know why she likes this. She has she has no <laughs> frame of reference as to what's happening, but there's this part where it goes, when you howl, I howl. And when we get to that, she literally is like, ah like she does oh, it. My God. Yeah. She likes the sound. She's very into the peekaboo stuff. She likes pulling the okay. things up oh, and oh my God. Um, cute. Uh, uh, and she loves like eating paper and everything. Of course. She puts everything in her mouth. I I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm I'm at. This I don't f- care. I haven't really been that cleanly about. No. After it, you're like, I can't just wipe everything down. No, no, no. Oh you my don't. God. What you are you supposed to, to do? He needs know. germs. I know. He needs it's germs. Like that's COVID. how they develop their immune system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of, it, it, that's how we feel. But she does like, she will like lick the hand thing on a plane. And I'm like, I don't really want her to do that. Oh She'll God. like lick the armrest. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. <laughs> I remember one time like at that age getting licking thirsty. the flight attendant. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then like lapping up lake water. Oh, yeah. that's hilarious. And I remember the, this mom was like, you can't do that. But you don't know. You don't You're know. Like, I'm just thirsty. I'm just yeah. drinking water. water. What? Yeah. Yeah. instincts took over. Yeah. yeah. They have no idea. They, and they don't yeah. care. Either. They're like she, licking doorknobs. She, I remember the, everything. the taste yeah. of metal being a baby and like, being like this Loved tastes good. It. Yeah. Loved yeah. it because it's cold. Yeah. 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 Mm. What her new thing yeah, is that she um, now will take her food, throw it on the ground and then pick it up and eat it mm. off the ground, which is, you know, it's probably a mirror that way. Chef's choice. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. But I, uh, but it, it's, I, I, I don't know if you'll get to this or like if you don't, like I watch these Instagrams of like these parents that are doing activities and like I, like I'm like, I'd love to try this with Goldie, but she literally eats everything. Like I cannot give this girl mm-hmm. Q-tips to put, yes. in, like I can't do these sensory oh, yeah. things because she'll fucking eat everything. Yeah. yeah. So it's, so I just She's a foodie. Of, she's a foodie. She's a foodie. Yeah. So I just kind of have to like reserve and be like, I also can't do all these activities that some of the parents do because we live in New York City and our yes. apartment is you not. You see some of the stuff and you're like, you you have a budget? I don't know. What's the craft budget yeah, I don't have an obstacle course size living. You yeah. know, like yes. I can't, yes. I can't do all these things. So it kind of like, like it, I, it kind of like I'll be like, man, am I am I doing enough for her? But like you said, it's like they are stimulated enough by their parents if they feel love. They're like by looking at things, the day to day, the yeah. experience. Yeah. I, was, yeah. I point out all the colors all the time. I was having yeah. the mindset <laughs> like you're like I can't entertain, but I've lately moved past that and find that if I just put um, my kid in the bouncy seat he likes watching me do errands around the apartment yeah, yeah. that's yeah. fun yeah, yeah. you're like <laughs> a tv just, for him yeah yeah no yeah. truly and honestly when they're before they're mobile like like just kind of letting them yeah those seats can really be helpful and if yeah. you're like you don't want to put them in devices so long i'm like you fucking clean the kitchen then I'm yeah gonna, i'm gonna put them in the seat. <laughs> are yeah. these people yeah, that are like he'll get hip dysphagia or whatever dysplasia. i'd like to see i'd like to see, i've never met an adult who was like i was like why do you walk funny they're like you know i was in a bouncer <laughs> because it's not like we're leaving them for yeah. like two weeks right being like yeah. oh i'm in i'm going to mexico my kid's in a bouncer yeah. it's like well i make dinner or well i just want to rest my art like it, yeah it, there's so much fear based stuff around that it just at a certain People are, point yeah they're oh, yeah. projecting their anxiety onto everything and it's everything. like just you as a parent but I will say like even when I hold your baby like my arms were tired yeah. in 10 minutes I was like whoa yeah. are we yeah, when you yeah. have to and he doesn't like certain, to sit he's no, not a sitter no. <laughs> squirmy squirmy yeah squirmy babe but, so yeah. when you're traveling though it's yeah. like you're not packing what toys are you even bringing you're bringing we, a few things we bring right? a few things yeah we do bring a few things but that the great part about kids is like they almost hate their toys yeah like they're like is that a plug? I'd rather unplug that. Like, I is put that it away for a while. Cup? I want to do and that. Bring it out again a month later, and then they think it's the best. Shit. Yeah, yeah. They say to like, yeah, the rotating toys. But truly and honestly, like Goldie, all she wants is things that aren't toys. Like mm-hmm. she is just like, what is this? picture for what it like she will grab anything up she's so out there if she's you're in the traveling world. you can just throw a water bottle at them like, yeah. yeah she's truly like a yeah. puppy sometimes like i feed her from the table yeah like she just really will buck come up and be like uh and i'm like i don't know if this is good or bad but she's she's open to it so i'm gonna That's go great. with it what's but, your take on screens we broke 
Oh, we don't one care. time. It's not like it, it's not like we're using it. We watch with her. Like yeah. me and her watched the Oscars last night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like mm-hmm. we straight chilled. Like we were because it's daylight, daylight savings time, of course. Yeah, yeah. And I forgot, and we had, we took our three week trip, and then we were back for like a week and a half, and then we went to California for ten days. So it's like okay. her sleep schedule. She's all over. Yeah, the place. it's fucked. So I'm like, I'm not gonna try to yeah, force. Yeah, jet lag with the baby. Yeah, and then I'm not gonna sit in there and try to put her to bed for and two what hours. What schedule do they really yeah. have? Yeah. They sleep. Yeah. They sleep. They, they, they go to bed I, at some point. Yeah. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, what the fuck? Just like us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stars. Yeah. Babies, really? They're just like <laughs> us. <laughs> um, but, but so no, we are like, we don't put it on and then like leave the room. Right. Mm-hmm. But like Robbie, uh, the, what we'll watch, like he'll put on like 15 minutes of a, of a, like they work their way through different mm-hmm. movies. Mm-hmm. And he's like, it's also the best cuddle time because it's the only like, cause she will like literally never. Nestle up yeah. and like spoon oh, that's and like cuddle like we're dating. Yeah. And he's like, I just time. love that. That's so cute. Um, but also, you know, like I have my shows I like to watch. So it's like, okay, every Saturday when Drag Race comes out, like I put it on and yeah. she plays around. Yeah. But like, I'm not, we're not hiding it or making it weird. Yeah, that's I don't like... stick a phone in front of her face, but she's aware. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh my God. When you whip it out, it. you're. Yeah. It's they know. They know. She picks I up other know things and goes and like yeah does. Oh, this. that's hysterical. She picks up all kinds of other stuff. And Hello. Puts Anytime I pick yeah. up, I'm like, she's scrolling. It's work. I'm she's doing like, work. It's work. Yeah. Yeah. I, Mommy's this emailing. Is a social media. I'm post buying for you another toys. Call. Yeah. I'm yeah. buying you toys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we we are like it, it, they're they're there. We're not using it as a babysitter, but like. And drag race is kid friendly. That's crafty. She, oh there's my God. crafts. Colors. There's confidence. She claps. There yeah. is confidence. She yes. clapped last night during the winners of the Oscars. I was oh. like, you understand. Oh my God, that's so cute. Yeah, it, was, it was Godzilla. She oh. yeah. clapped during Godzilla. I was like, of course. Of she was a really big did. fan. We all did. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a best Godzilla. It was, it was, yeah, it was like some kind of like best a special effects yeah. thing, something oh, okay. like that. And she okay. was like, yeah, and I was like, you understand. She what had her picks. Her. She had her picks. <laughs> she won a pool. <laughs> she had a bet on Godzilla. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're not crazy about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think that's the best not, way. You, you want to have a relaxed attitude. Yeah, we're not leaving. You her don't in want front them to grow. Up. That's how people, you know, you grow up. It's like you know, you never have wine. You can't have wine. It's like the kids that have like a sip of wine. It's like, oh, they're fine. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. And then coming from somebody who's now joining an Italian. Family. She's like, the I kids love wine. Have wine. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, everyone has wine. Everybody has wine. The kids have it's wine at juice. nine. It's juice. <laughs> it's juice. It's tradition. It is. It's, it's, it's part of our culture. <laughs> well, like I grew up on MTV, and to me, yeah. MTV is TikTok. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, and the TikTok of the olden times. TV also, I yeah. did that through the with the remote. It was always like flipping through flipping. T- very yeah. fast. A music yeah. video. That's TikTok. It's, it's TikTok. now they're dancing. Now they're at a party. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Now they're on a beach. Yeah. It's yeah. hilarious to watch the old That's music true. videos. Like we were watching one. It cracked me up. I can't even remember what it was. Oh, I think it was like Pat Benatar. Love is a battlefield, and it was oh. just like women miners like mining in a dangerous. It was ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. So funny. And then now it's just like. You know, people dancing. Yeah. 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 No, it's really wild to go back and watch any kind of things it, like and how inappropriate everything was. From, yes. Like, 90s, yeah. 2000s. Like we watched Fear last night and we were like, first off, such teenage like erotica. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Like, we, we, we fully put it on to be like, let's just turn it on. And we watched the whole like riveted like, oh, my God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She still gets fingered on the roller coaster. Like we were very <laughs> right? excited. Wow. But there is a moment where like the teenage like the friend like bends over in her skirt in front of the dad and the dad's like, wah, wah, we want, you know, and oh, you're just, like, yeah. we're just, like, we used to just do this. Yeah. We used yeah, to just totally normalize 16 year olds. Yeah. Like poison ivy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember like she just got out of rehab and we were like, she's making her come. <laughs> back and then she's just sexualized for Tom Skerritt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all Crazy. Of all of her. Like Alicia still like the crush and all those ones. Yeah. Like, yeah. We God. just we but the, even like the early 2000s were always like about some nerdy guy who sees like a foreign or very hot foreign ladies boobs. You know what I mean? Yes. She's yeah. always just like in my country we take off our shirts in the hot tub. Huh? Yeah. 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 Like Road just, trip. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just it was everything was so wildly inappropriate. It does. It is and nice. It more feels fun. like <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I kind of miss some nudity every now and then. You're like, I miss an old fashioned. Give me a Top Gun lit love scene. Yeah, give me Absolutely. an Herbal Essences commercial. Me- <laughs> right? Uh, sell Truly. me some conditioner. Yeah. Truly. It's mm. like, a, yeah, I do miss a little I love a little the sexual. Core. Like, mm. are they going to fuck? Are they not going to Yeah. Fuck? <laughs> That's a, like fear. It's actually when they're like 
because I remember being a teenager just being like, I just want to make out with a boy at a carnival. Yeah. And they're like, do it. And you're like, what a life. Yeah. What, what a, a life. life this is. Yeah. That's uh, what they say about the, the kids now, the generation now is like, they're growing up so slowly. These kids in high school, it's like, they don't have a girlfriend. They don't, don't want to drive. They don't want to They don't want to go outside. They don't want to go to school. To me. They only want to be yeah. on it's there's this whole thing we were talking to somebody about it that kids like they're they're really just their life almost doesn't exist outside of social media outside so of tiktok and outside of things they don't want to go yeah. out and they don't want to play like they don't want to i mean it, it is just weird but it is like yeah they don't they don't have these relationships outside of like just talking it's so fascinating, fascinating. It's I, so I would fascinating. just go to my friend's house and watch wings all night long or something <laughs> and not yeah. write yeah. unsolved watch mysteries at a, at a, at a um, yeah. at walker a texas over. ranger <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh you're, but you're like it's just nice to have a companionship and sit in silence and watch tv or it, yeah i would just sh- we would just show up at each other's house with uh, just unannounced yeah. yeah, being like, yeah. oh, I guess Sarah's here, and then you yeah. would just hang out, and it wasn't a big deal, or vice versa. Oh yeah. yeah, I remember my my friend that lived up the street. I remember she came, they knocked on my door one time, and they were covered head to toe, and they were like, uh, <laughs> they were like, they're like, watch out for Lyme disease. The ticks are biting everybody, and they just knocked on my door and said that. Like that's just how you. you there was texting. Yeah, that was communication. Was yeah, they just had sweatshirts, and she's like, Lyme disease is out there, and I was like, Mom, do we need to be worried about this? Like, yeah, but yeah, yeah it is. It is. They're they're not like they don't form. I wonder if it's like real friendships anymore. Yeah, it's a different. I'm. This is why I think it's great kids. to have. Yeah. You know, you're having kids now, but you guys are going to be like a, attached to the next generation, knowing intimately what's going on. I know it's kind of scary. It, so is. it will be interesting to see how they grow and develop with the screens, but then also, yeah. you know, there's always a back and forth. Like the generation now, everybody is, you know, kind of late bloomers. But then, you know, who who knows what's next? Sluts, yeah. you know, yeah. sluts. Slut well, but here's the thing. I, I, think I love that, sluts. I do. Oh, Oh my too. god, I mean, oh. sense of the best. I think that they're socially behind, but because of all the shit in our food, they are physically ahead. Yes, that's like, true. Girls, little girls are getting tits at like ten because yes. of hormones. It, it, it's crazy. It's very so strange. Sluts are happening, yeah. but they don't know they're sluts. Yeah, they but they're <laughs> slutty. They're body but sluts. They don't know they're sluts. <laughs> Mentally, they're unslutty, but tittily, they're yeah, fucking like yes. whores. Yes. You know? yes. yeah. It's crazy. Oh my physically, god, physically sluts. Twenty twenty four. What a year. <laughs> My baby's got breasts. <laughs> I mean, it, I, sometimes I look oh around like, and I get nervous because I, I I don't always check the late. Like at this point, you know, she's almost one. I'm kind of feeding her everything. Like yeah, I, yeah. There was like, I let her try ice cream, like all this stuff. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever. I, I, you can't get so crazy. I mean, we were in Italy. We were eating burrata and salami. Oh, and she's probably not supposed to. I don't yeah, think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's full nitrates and all salt. that's what they do yeah. over there. Well, but it's, Italy though, cool. Italy though, it's so much better. I don't think they have nitrates in the salami they're, in Italy. It, it just you know, the food probably like is curing just, it in a normal way. Yeah, yeah. Where did you guys go in Italy? We went to, we spent the most time, we went to Verona, oh. um, which is excellent. We, cause we had a show in Milan and a show in Bologna and in okay. the middle was Verona and Venice and we did oh, Verona gosh, and then took yeah. a little day trip to Venice. Amazing. And it was wonderful and and yeah and it's like it's still like affordable there and the food is just and the people they they prioritize babies so much more in other countries it is. oh that's it's amazing like disappointing yeah. like i think here i don't know if i'm wrong but like you could just they don't really have like bar bar if they do have a bar it's like adults go but you could go to a drinking function with the kid and they, it seems not as no taboo. yeah like a restaurant yes. with the wine yeah, and everybody has like their fine. kids there yeah. yeah and also when you're at the airport having a baby under 10 mm-hmm. is basically having pre-check like i was oh, like great. oh do we board first he goes you are right. at the front of the line whereas i think i was traveling alone with goldie one time when she was five months old uh jet blue i was seventh to board it wow. was like all the people that spend money, the people that spend a little less money, more people, more yeah. people, more people. Now mothers and kids under, I was like, seventh? Like wow. where it's just kind of wild it's that depressing we just have me. no, everywhere that you go in Europe, they just, they respect babies. more. Robbie was telling me this fact that like the number one, like I think like kids are kind of the most, um, uh, what's the word? Um, like value? No, did not. Um, it, it uh, they're the most uh, stig- not stigmatized, but what's the uh, not stereotype, like, but like, like racist, but not racist. Like, oh the, yeah, prejudice, prejudice. Yes, against, yes. Oh, in, yes. Kids, in America, yeah, kids. They yeah. hate fucking kids. Yeah, oh, there's all yeah. all those uh, like adults only resorts, you know, which are for swingers. We all know that. Yeah, well, they're for fucking <laughs> well, I other saw people. Duncan Trussell go on a podcast recently, and he's talking about like one of the personality types he detests the most is the one that makes their personality hate kids oh yeah yeah. Like, yeah what an odd 
What a, yeah. what a weird thing to, to, yeah. to choose. I and hate have people. A, yeah. yeah. Like that's you were a kid. Yeah. Other people like when people lose their shit about a kid on a plane. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you don't I don't understand how you don't have any empathy. And is it really that annoying to you? At yeah. most, I'm always like, oh, I feel bad for the parents. I feel bad right. for the parents. The parents. How much how stressful is it for the parents? Yeah. You're stressed out by. Yeah. I mean, it's of course, it's stressed out to hear. It's stressful to hear like a loud noise, but it's like now everyone's staring at you. Right. Like, now, how yeah. dare you? Yeah. But there is this whole, there is kind of like this weird thing happening. I think especially with like sometimes women that, and we see it in comedy where it's all these women are like, uh, yeah, I guess I'm supposed to have a kid right now, but I don't. I have purses. And you're like, what? what is this purse? What? Like you cannot want mm-hmm. a kid and not be a dick about it. Yeah. Right? yeah. You can just not want a kid, but not have yeah, to like make me. other people. Yeah. Yeah. It just feels like yeah. there's, there's, it's like it's like there's such a strong animosity towards people that don't want kids, and it's like then don't fucking have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't have to have. Don't yeah. have, have your purse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, there's yeah. a weird backlash. Have there's a, a weird backlash. Like, I wanted a kid. Don't make me feel fucking crazy because right. I'm a hero. Where they're like breeders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah. it is yeah. like a. It's just a shitty person. Oh, it's just like that's not the person I want to hang out with. It's a contrarian. No, yes. It's, uh, yeah. It's like yeah. you also can have kids and you can be quiet yeah. about it, or you and can I not mean, have kids and you can be quiet about exactly. it. Exactly. Well. And I also get it though. Like some kids suck, but like not ours. Yeah. I like to double down. <laughs> yeah. when somebody, ours would be great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when somebody has that personality type. I like to double down when they say something. I'm like, I think it's that's great that you. I think you shouldn't have kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm racist <laughs> against kids. That's yeah. a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. No, for you, that's probably the best option yeah. Yeah. is to not have kids. Like, I remember at UCB, there was girls like, I wasn't here to make friends. I'm like, well, you're doing a really great job. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. Congrats. Bye. Such you a good what, response. Yeah. Just double down on them. But yeah. I love hearing that Europe is like kid friendly. Oh, that's yeah. so amazing. Oh, yeah. No, they're always. Where else yeah. did you guys go? You I went can't to Italy. Find baby station uh, changing stations and quite a few Starbucks. That's interesting. Well, yeah, or like, like oh, there's a man like living in there. You know? <laughs> He's busy. You're in someone's home. Hand sanitizing yeah. his bag right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like it's. I find it sometimes it is hard to find places to mm-hmm. like take care of yeah. the kid yeah. situation. Yeah. And yeah. I'll say also um, for Robbie because Ro- Robbie Men. changes about. 80% of the diapers. Yeah. Okay. Robbie is, I'm the breast man and he's the, the diaper, diaper man. Dude. Yeah. 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 So he, a lot of times will have to be like, there's not one in the men's, which is kind of shitty. It is I really mean, crazy. I, it's, like, it's, it's just very strange. That yeah. The mom is going to do it, which is, I feel like just from, you know, the, whatever how long ago when it was just like this is what women did but they should be more places i mean kids exist and yeah. they should themselves yeah, yeah. yeah. and they need to be lot. wiped what if you had shit in your pants wouldn't yeah. you want to get that out of your <laughs> right? asshole yeah there should be more like changing stations for adults and babies yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> let us all change <laughs> yeah i know a lot of adults that shit themselves at least once a it's month it's more than you that's it's a lot. Statistic is higher than you think yes. it is. I'm always blown away how many people shit their pants, and I'm all like, the time. I only did it I, once with colitis. I mean, I've done it. I've done it. I've and it done was it. Liberating multiple times. Felt great. I did it on my uh, my Zoloft. That was one of the side effects. They call it squirtrilline. That's what it's actually <laughs> called. Yeah. Squirtrilline. Yeah, trusted a fart. What but, a great you know, tattoo. Yeah. Beware, will squirtrilline. <laughs> squirtrilline. <laughs> um, where's the most baby friendly place that you feel like you've traveled? Is it, was, it Europe? It was, it was Italy. Europe. It was Italy. Oh, Italy. Italy. I love that. Although, you know, it is hard because a lot of the, there's like a lot of cobblestone. So physically, sometimes taking a stroller was a little like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but like people wise, they love babies. But we did, we did Switzerland, Italy, uh, Sweden, Copenhagen. Um, and then, uh, and then ended in London. Um, I said, well, we did, yeah, we did Switzerland, Italy, uh, uh, yeah, Sweden, uh, uh, Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they just, it really, people just kind of go with it there. And like, you yeah. know, like in, in, um, like Scandinavia, a lot of times they just leave the babies yeah, in the shows. We didn't do it. Like we didn't see it. I feel like it. the one time I'm like, I guess. And yeah. then yeah. they're like, my Your baby's, baby's gone. gone. <laughs> yeah. And then Americans are like, they're what like, are This you is doing? how we get our babies. <laughs> we what, didn't do it. What but is people it? Are very... It's like people will what leave their baby outside in, in the, the stroller cold. like if the baby's sleeping yeah. so they just park the strollers outside and they go in um, okay we yeah. did, again we didn't we didn't see it. it was also wasn't like as cold as i think they do it when it's like really cold and they say it's like good for the baby or yeah, whatever yeah. yeah but like nobody really blinks when a like because we you know we didn't have uh people with us so we would go out and have dinner sometimes we had them like later and like people really didn't blink yeah. yeah about having a baby there like I'm, I mean if they did they did it wasn't like judgmental like I went to a 
a festival over the summer and uh, uh, in Maryland, in Ocean City, Maryland, and it started raining a little bit. And we had Goldie, and it was probably it was like six p.m. Okay, mm-hmm, it, was, or mm-hmm. it was maybe it was even four p.m. Yeah, it was okay. daytime, but it was raining. And somebody just walks by and goes, "Get that baby out of here!" Isn't that crazy? Or like, get that baby. And I, I swear that to God, that is so rude. I it's told, rain. I almost chased her down and punched the back of her fucking head. Yeah, yeah. I want to be like, this isn't YouTube. Like, I can yeah. hear you, but let yeah, me yeah. tell you, Ocean City, Maryland is like a crowd full of YouTube comments. Oh, it's just that's the kind oh. of people. They never are. been there. Never, to, n- never hope to go. It was it was a really cool concert, like on the beach, and like there's like a f- fair, like it's a whole like outdoor, whatever, like um carnival park yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And but the people there were just the atrocious. Oh, oh, will never go there. That's never terrible. Fuck you, never go City. there. Yeah. Well, now we've put them down on Lady Journey, <laughs> so they'll probably go out of so business. So we're uninvited. Yeah. Um, but no, it just yeah. somebody walked by. I was like, get that baby home. It is. And I want to be like, do you think? Do you think that I'm not like? Like what? What makes you assume that I don't know that it's raining and that maybe we're not trying to figure out what the fuck to do? Like what makes yeah, you it's assume? Just like, yeah, like I don't get to participate in society because I'm a mother now. But like, also, it's like, insane. You think I'm a be- like? Do you think that I'm just like, nope? The baby stays out in the rain. It's got to yeah. learn. Got to do it. Got to learn. <laughs> we were looking. We, we want hypothermia for our girl. Like it's just like, what makes you think that I'm a fucking idiot? Yeah. Yeah. That you can just drive by and say, get that baby out of here. It's get that so baby home. I wanted. To be like, get so yourself rude. home, you fucking yeah. piece of shit. Yeah, awful. Ugh. Absolutely awful. Ugh. No, but it's weird. People do, I mean, I've gotten comments like, you're so brave for taking, you know, like traveling. And I know it probably means well, but somehow <laughs> I take the negative of like, I know. Are you saying that I'm too early to go yeah. traveling? You're so brave for leaving the home with your baby, which you yeah. shouldn't That's be. That's making a ton of noise yeah. right now and not being embarrassed by it. Yeah, it's yeah. like American culture makes motherhood so much more difficult than it needs to be. That's and then they're also like, I true. wonder why people aren't having babies. It's no. a mystery and we can't figure it out. No, in places like Spain, they literally have parks next to like outdoor coffee shops and bars because it is it's a social thing yeah it's like yeah. the kids play the parents socialize and it's just it's like a they they do it more as like this is a community and uh and we just don't have that we're like yeah. it's kind of like everybody's out for you know everybody fends for themselves also um there was this whole thing like you know in europe people go out during the week like in america it feels like we're so like monday through friday and then the weekends is when we do things we binge, like, yeah, binge we're such drink. a binge culture yeah, yeah where it's like in you know spain they're like we go to dinner on a tuesday night like it's, yeah. it's yeah. just it's so it's not as like kind of like better. forced to be like this yes. is what we do and their yeah. city planning for some reason it's always better unless yes. i'm just going in peak times but you're yeah. like why is there a trans public transportation way better mm-hmm. over in Europe than yeah, it is. Yeah, and there's like beautiful like communal gardens. Yeah. And how is London? Just, I'm interested feel, about London. They, I just think that other people care more. We're just a capitalist society. Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't matter what is better for us if yes. it doesn't make money. London is the best. You, London was good with the baby. Oh, we you love London. Great. Yeah, London is, um because you know, Robbie's a British citizen, so I think that we, we definitely have plans to at least live there for like a year or two yeah. at oh some my point gosh. soon. But, oh, that's um, fun. I would London's love Goldie great. with a British accent. Oh. I know, I know. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> mommy. It's pretty. What's all this then? <laughs> um, oh. But no, London's great. Now, how did you guys do the shows? So you guys were performing. You were doing stand up. We were we were, were you handing off like as yeah. one of you going on stage? Well, in Europe they to get do. To do it, but I fucking won't do it. Yeah, you can. it's tricky. It's, it's, you can it's do fun. it. You can it, do it. But Europe, what they do is they do an intermission. Oh, which is most places in so Europe brilliant. they do so yeah. so like we Shows find a local opener yeah. usually and if we didn't we would just figure it out but usually like a local opener would go do 10 I usually would do my 31st because then and Robbie found places near our venues mm-hmm. so that we could easily get back like one of them nice. was like across the street oh, one perfect. of them was just down the, or we use the Duna stroller uh, which which she's goes, a Duna user I broke you ha- every it, expensive thing I was like I can't I can't afford no, it no. and then as soon as life <laughs> happened no. I was like I'm going into debt everything I'm everything. going into debt yep yep Duna yeah. is perfect for travel because it just it, if you're you, a single woman too yep. it's so it's easier tiny. to go everywhere it goes right us. into a car it was like it was game changing for travel yes. it was and we borrowed it our, our friend sent it to us after their two kids because I was like I think we need to get a Duna for this thing yeah but mm-hmm. so um, so yeah so I would either I could just walk back so I would do my 30 and then they do a little 15 minute break and then Robbie would do his and meet, meet me back so every so often she was up a little bit later but also there were times when like you know once I got off stage 
age, I could breastfeed her to sleep and watch his set and we could go back together. Yeah. And oh, it's, perfect. She, it was just, again, it was like, you just, we had to be a little looser with a schedule. We weren't like, mm-hmm. you know, we weren't staying out till midnight, but every so often we'd get back at like 9.30 and we'd turn her into a road comic. Like at one point we were in <laughs> Copenhagen and we were all eating falafel like <laughs> on the ground. And we were it. like sitting in a hotel, like eating kebabs and like yeah. pe- and like, uh, mm-hmm. and, f- and falafels. And we were like, we're sorry, we turned you into a road comic. And she was just like, you know, she, they don't know. That's yeah. great. They don't she's care. a hack. She's yeah. suddenly talking about um, yeah. sucking dick. You yeah. know? She said she's like, my mom's on Facebook. And I was like, how dare you? Uh, <laughs> but uh, but no, we would just, we would, during the intermission, we would hand her off and, and, and one of us would go uh would go home so it was so perfect it's so perfect fine and like if she would make noise like we would just like walk around with her you know like Mm -hmm. she'd make noise so Robbie would just like hang out outside or what like it was just it was totally fine it was definitely like it was it was a thing yeah yeah it was a an experience but but it was like it's so it It sounds you make it sound really doable which I think is so huge I think a lot of people have babies and then you know it is scary you don't know what is dangerous I found the TSA the hardest I find for going through the security line. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because I don't know why, but my kid gets the fussiest. It's like I plan it around his wake windows. (laughs) Eating time, yeah. And I'm like, Fuck, yeah. He's like oh. this liquid. Feels... I'm like, he can't eat solids, so I... they're like, one made me dump out his formula, and I was like, they're Fuck. not allowed to do that. It was so really that's against the law. Yeah. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, because how are you supposed to feed the fucking baby? Yeah, you can't dump out formula if you yeah. tell. Like you tell him he's already. I was like, he's eating it, so it's like, why wouldn't? Why yeah. would? If there's not, not a not bomb. A bomb. <laughs> oh, they made you. Oh, that it was yeah. already open. Oh, because I like they're not. They can't like make you dump out the stuff. You have oh in your yeah. Bag. No. Mm. I don't that, do. But that's I always also bring the powder. Really fucked up. Oh but yeah. But yeah, one place let me go through, and they were totally fine. And then another city. They were like, yeah, he can't. New York is the most there. laxed with it. New this, York is. Every time yeah. they the don't most even check it. Terrorist. A terrorist. Yeah. You know what we, I mean? I know New York, they're just like, hit. moving yeah. on, moving we've on. Been hit. Yeah. So you think we would be the more strict. Yeah. But they yeah. didn't get on in New York, they got on in other airports. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, there you go. Yeah. There yes. you go. <laughs> there you go. But it's like it'll be like Houston, and you're like, no one's bombing here. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. already suck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. TSA really we can't gives make you, you worse. worse. Yeah. It's like a microcosm of the city. I judge it by the TSA. Yeah, yeah. however they behave. Yeah. 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 No, it's it's there is. I will say, like, I love traveling, but the parts of like before getting onto the plane are but they they're rough you don't yeah. know you know when you're like you doing all this and you got you got the bag and i got the thing yeah. and then also when you get on the plane and you're just sitting there for a, a while before and mm-hmm. they don't have the air on and like and oh yeah the baby, yes like, it's there intense. are definitely parts yep. that are like annoying but doable yeah do you have any travel annoying. hacks for traveling with the baby um not not all like just boobs for right now. Okay. That's all I have. <laughs> we, just boobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just boobs. But I'm always like, we have to yeah. dart him. We can't. Yeah. So even though we, I sometimes I'm like, I know we just fed him an hour ago, but like fucking feed him again. Yeah, feed him. <laughs> just like, sleep. Just bribe keep him with formula. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep feeding them. And I, I will say the having like a later night flight that kind of goes into the night was night because you know it's yeah, dark. I think red eye feels better to yeah. do all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's uh, your opinion of the Momoa? the Momoa booths for breastfeeding because it oh, feels those like mom ones? yeah you see those and you're like okay first of all I can see that there's no air ventilation <laughs> like right? how is there light in there yeah like is it just stale air in there like why don't we just not shame people I, that are breastfeeding yeah, like, I never you have had to, that I yeah. I whipped out my tit Everywhere, you do normalize uh, it. You gotta very normalize much it. In, I, don't think it's a- I, I was very uh, open with. I mean, I wasn't like just walking around with yeah. them out, but like <laughs> if she needs to eat, yeah. I will flip it open and I'll give it to her. Like I don't really care. I saw another person like who's I don't care. caring about who? What person? But is, people like, are people like up in arms sexual. about it. Like oh my god. Oh my yeah. god, it's, it's crazy. very strange. Those yeah. people are sad loser virgins. And yeah. um, get in the get in your crate, woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like there's no ventilation. How I went in one you. one time because I was like, I feel like I could take a nap in here. I need a little picture. <laughs> I feel like they just turn into like jerk off booths. That's probably. How I, that's why. Yeah, I feel like it's they like yeah. being... for a mom breastfeeding, and it's like just a teenage man like yeah. in there jerking it. Yeah. <laughs> Lock the door. <laughs> He's like, I've been waiting for yeah. you. You're like, ah! he just scored him in the eye and ran out. <laughs> but I like, I never covered up also because she was born and she was maybe in the summer and it's hot. And yeah. Also, Goldie, like, a friend of ours just recently, like, cause we were all at the park and I was just whipping it out and she like, it's so funny. Like, you're like, I don't know if it takes, but she sent me a uh, a thing for like a cover up. 
Mm-hmm. And I was like, and I, and I know it was just trying to be nice, but I was like, I like Goldie also hates being covered. Like if I yeah. put something over, she's like, get it off yeah. of me. Yeah. Um. And so I and and I was just like, oh, it's, I love the idea, but our girl would never, yeah. and I don't care. Yeah. Like yeah. I just I I it's it is kind of a you must eat in darkness. Yeah. 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 I just <laughs> I and I know it's like maybe for my comfort level or other like it's like we have friends and I'm sure mm-hmm. all of my mm-hmm. friends were like, oh, I wasn't anticipating that I would ever see your breasts, especially when <laughs> your nipple is the size of a fucking uh, dinner plate. Yeah. yeah, yeah just a big yeah. old one. But like again, I just it's like. I don't, she's my priority. Yeah. It's not uh, anybody else's comfort. It's feeding Goldie and she's a rabid animal. Yeah. She yeah. loves She's a growing tits. girl. She's, yeah. You're I'm, like, it's either this or crying. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. Like curdling scream. Yeah. Or like, you know, when you go to like a Korean spa, for example, I remember the first time I went to a like spa castle. I think yeah. it was the first time oh, that yeah. I was in like an all nude women's bathhouse. And I was, I remember right away, I was kind of like, oh, don't look. You know, I yeah. don't want to, I don't want to be like it's looking really right weird. at it. But then yeah. you adjust to it. Oh, yeah. immediately like yes. faster than you would expect and I was like oh like now I'm like lounging you know Doesn't I don't matter. care I've got my yeah. leg up we're, we're in the sauna we're the only <laughs> you know? country that is so fucking weird with nudity mm-hmm. also like we were in Iceland and in Iceland they have all these hot baths yes but you have to shower before and that you're just sense. showering okay with in like a big open shower yeah. with a bunch of Icelandic male and- women no not male and female oh, there's two different locker yeah. rooms but it's just kind of like yeah people you mm-hmm. just kind of kids, women, like you just kind of grow up around nudity. It doesn't make it as salacious or crazy. Yes. Or yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like we have to hide it in this country so we can sell it later. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I mean, because, you know, watch Love Island. Like the first season, they were full fucking on TV. Yeah. Full, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> full fucking on ITV. And it was amazing. <laughs> it was. They were That's where you everywhere. find my, your lovemaking scenes. Yes. yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Did you take there. Goldie to Iceland? Did you take her there? No, this was when me and Robbie traveled there a few years ago. Um, you guys like to travel a lot. You guys love traveling. We do. We travel. We do it a lot on... um we basically put everything on credit cards mm-hmm. and get points. Like we put our mm-hmm. rent on a credit to, card. I put all my medical yeah. bills on credit everything card. on credit cards. Get those so then points. Just get, get the points. Yeah. yeah. Get the travel stuff, and then kind of. So we get a lot of ho- our hotels are a lot of like points. Like in London, we stayed at this beautiful hotel that was like three something a night that we wouldn't pay three something, but we got our mm-hmm. points. Yeah, and That's it was great. wonderful. Loyalty programs too always work. Like. Delta will always upgrade you a lot of the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, Just sign, hotel, sign up for yeah, all that for shit. Hilton Are you honors. on a frequent flyer? You, we you have, do Delta, right? Mm-hmm. Me too. We, yeah. were De- we were Delta, but they kind of suck now. They kind of have they gotten a little raised weird. It, really? They raised it up. You can't even go in the lounge if you're basic economy yeah. anymore. Yeah, and you can that. only get like six times in the lounge. Mm-hmm. Well, you can't even go in the lounge <laughs> anymore. Girls. I really <laughs> sound Casey, fucking. that's awful. Look <laughs> at <fucking> bougie that <laughs> sounds. Whatever. But with a baby, it's especially nice to have a space. Area where you know you can like eat and sip. I wish there was a Delta Lounge in the city. <sighs> I, God, wish, I would go I, there. That would every be my day. nightlife. Yeah. I, I would just hang out and watch CNN and <laughs> eat like need. at a buffet. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All. The, yeah. I would do that. I'd just go get mimosas. Yeah. And uh, all that stuff. But um. But yeah, like it. It is a. Uh, what were we? What were we were just saying? Oh, do you have a loyalty oh, program? Oh, what are you oh, on? Yeah. Oh, we Any have hotel stuff. We will. Ro- you know, Robbie's kind of the money guy. Um, mm-hmm. but we we have like the Amex. We have the travel card. We've got another one we just did for mm-hmm. this trip. So we spent it so we could do it. Oh, good. Um, and then we've got miles on like all of them. But again, mm. like you can't barely get miles anymore. Yeah. Like yeah. I feel like you used to be able to get miles, and now it's like, yeah, if you fly and if you buy the cheapest one because fucking plane tickets are so expensive now yeah you don't even get your miles yeah it's crazy it is i only have like nine thousand miles on like a couple different ones yeah it doesn't even get me anything Uh, yeah lyft does a program every time you do a lift you get delta points or something oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. we have that one so yeah robbie robbie's got them all but we we do a lot of like the chase rewards and a lot of the credit cards there to get more hotels like we used to have a ton of uh, airline stuff, but then Delta kind of adjusted. Yeah, and so it, they, it made it harder to reach status. Delta is fuck you. I can't afford it. Yeah, I was. I went on a flight this weekend where the Delta flight was almost five hundred dollars, and Spirit was a hundred and fifty dollars. And I was like, I can't justify paying four hundred dollars to not be around poor people. I guess that's what you're just paying but, for because yeah. but, but even Spirit, Spirit screws you. Yeah, because once you go oh, 150 and then they're like yeah. seventy five if you actually want to get on the flight. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, because I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I yeah. almost 
I, I was, I like, there was a flight that I could afford that was like literally spirit from Newark. And I was like, I, I will not go to this wedding. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. Yeah. But, but I was like, let me attend, let me try to book it. And there were so many other expenses that it almost becomes like a yeah. hundred dollars less than the 400. It right? becomes like and a $300 well. thing. And then you're on spirit. And you can't yeah. bring any bags. Can't spirit bring feels classes. like you are you on shoes. the Titanic. Yeah. It feels yes. like you're on the Titanic and it's going down and you're seats. in the steerage. They're literally yeah. school bus seats. Yeah. You're like, and that's in the, like the pre Premium. Yeah, and they, they don't recline. <laughs> no, everything's recline. trash now. And it's it, weirdly. Everything's yeah. garbage. Everything is garbage. We everything's were garbage. on a KLM flight, the our Norwegian Air actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I think they're one of the cheaper yeah. okay. airways. But they're good. They're decent. They're decent. Yeah. But mid flight on the way back, they're like, um we did not plan we didn't bring as many meals as we thought we did. And so if you're not super hungry, please don't take and it was an international flight. That you're like, like, just in case there's somebody that has like diabetes or something that needs <laughs> like, it more. Or like a hyperglycemic. Yeah. They're wild. That you're like, that's this- so hilariously embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and also like the things that I feel like they feel comfortable telling us as passengers mm-hmm. is wild. It's really we were, funny. We were on a flight. Like, yeah, we're leaving and the guy was like, all right, well, first we got to we got some stuff we got to do. Uh, now there's a towel in the gas can there's a towel there's a towel we gotta go back we were like a towel i don't need to know oh the yeah. brakes are fritzing uh we're gonna go fix the brakes of the plane yeah. and you're just like don't tell me this yeah, yeah please, please don't tell me yeah this. just just get me off the ground just we had, don't say anything there was one flight this i like thought this was kind of funny we it was a night flight back to new york from houston uh it was delayed, and then by the time it was delayed here, we weren't going to make it back in time for New York. They were already closed. So we had to stay kind of overnight, and I didn't feel like calling my mom again to pick me up. Yeah. So Joe and I stayed there, but then they were like, we're going to do a Taco Bell run. Does anybody? So they got Taco Bell for everyone. That's really fun. But there was something so casual, weirdly casual yeah, about so it. Now like, I'm hanging out with you guys. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> like they're like we're not work no one's working we're just no yeah we're just hanging out and yeah. it was just really weird to be like also are you guys we're some of us are gonna go and get stuff like yeah you guys do you guys want anything yeah. we're gonna go yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna do a sing-along do you guys need a drink it? or anything yeah. i'm heading to the store that's hilarious yeah that's <laughs> any really music funny. that you like or yeah it, it, we'll any just, yeah. Any like travel disasters with Goldie so far? Have you had um, any like canceled flights or? No, just, uh, well, just one that I actually, uh, thank God. So I was flying, it was like my first time I think flying, I was flying across to San Diego, to California yeah, by myself with her. Yeah. And a JetBlue flight and shout JetBlue at the desk, you can, it's still not cheap, but it's cheaper than the tickets. You can upgrade to the lie down to the first class for 350 bucks. Okay. So I had like a $200 flight. I upgraded us because I was like, you know what? Let me just It'll be do worth this. it. Yeah. And the original flights for that seat was like twelve hundred bucks. So I got a crazy deal. That's great. And luckily, we were on the tarmac for three hours. Somebody puked in the back. <gasps> oh my god! Oh. They had, uh, all this stuff. So I was like, thank God I did it. I would have cried back there by myself. Yeah. With a baby, like squ- smelling like, it the just, vomit, just all of it. And plus, you know what's you know what's so funny? It's like the minute you know you have a better seat, you start looking at like uh, the minute I saw everybody, I was <laughs> the like, classism what the fuck kicks is happening? In. Like, yeah. yeah. I was like, Easily. the back of the plane looks wild. Like, yeah. I was just like, these like, people look like there, animals. Yeah. <laughs> they're animals. Um, but, they are. Yeah. 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 They're full animals. Um, um, but That's it was hilarious. like, it was, thank God, because I, I was like, yeah, because I, I like to in the window seat, so I just would have been trapped, my, mm-hmm. breastfeeding yeah. mm-hmm. with her for three hours. People are throwing up. Everybody's going crazy. Like, so yeah, just I, society breaks down quick. It was like a really, I was really thankful that I, that I made that choice to be like, you know what? It's my first time. Let me just, it, yes. you, if you're paying for what, comfort, it's, it's and, so and worth it. it. When you take outs it. during the month, you don't get it's a few exactly. grub hubs. It's a few, a few grub hubs. <laughs> it's a few grub hubs. You make Pick it up work a couple. somehow. Somehow it works out. But yeah. I was like, but it's like once you have a taste of it, though, now I'm like, well, I'll just always fly JetBlue and try to upgrade. And then I oh. wanted to do it on the way home. And they were like, oh, this plane doesn't have that. Mm. Yeah. So I couldn't Certainly. upgrade. So then I was like, 
what do I do now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm ready to spend my money. <laughs> I'm poor again. <laughs> I know. I know. I can't Don't put there. me in the back with them. Um, oh my God. Casey, yeah. it's been so amazing having oh, you thanks. on. Thanks so T- much. Tell everybody where we can find you. Uh, I am uh, on Instagram at Caseface B. I'm on TikTok at, at Caseface B. Uh, I still have a hotmail. Feel free to email me. And uh, I don't I don't really know how Facebook works anymore, but apparently I'm going to get on there again because people are making money there. Yes, I, post I'm your political back. ideology. I'm going back. Yeah. I know. Um, Thank you so much. And then I live much. in Long Island City, Queens, oh. so come over. Yes, come yeah. over to her house. She's breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank come you over. again. <laughs> Follow Casey. Please like and subscribe for Lady Journey below. Smash the button. And l- give us a review. Yeah, We Lady love Journey. it.